Hello, everybody. I'm Martin Wenzel. This is Project High Rise. This is the original Project High Rise, and I also have the Project High Rise Las Vegas. The game is on sale right now on Steam, and so I picked it up. Looks interesting. I played Sim Tower a lot when I was younger, and this is sort of the same, but there are lots of differences. One being the elevators. So let's get into a new game. I've already looked at the tutorial just to get an idea of how to play it. Alright, let's see. We can name it. Oh, what should we name this? Wenzel. <clears throat> oh, what should we call this? Wenzel. Well, let's just call it Wenzel Tower. Not the greatest name, but we'll call it Wenzel Tower. Alright. Difficulty. Uh, let's go with easy for this one. Lat, uh, lot size, standard, narrow, short and wide, or extra large. Hmm. Let's just go with standard. We'll just leave everything the just the vanilla. I did download two mods. I'm not sure. Yeah, I don't think I have them activated yet. It's just McDonald's and Starbucks. All right, start with a good amount of money. The economy is solid and tenants are easy to find. I guess that's what easy means. Start on a regular sized empty lot. Unlimited cash and resources. Show advanced settings. Let's see. Las Vegas backdrop, random events. Oh, so we can pick if we want the regular background or Las Vegas. We'll go with the regular background to start. And then random events. Alright, let's just. Okay. Let's go. So it's a very resource light kind of game, much like Sim Tower. All right, daily rent goal is a thousand dollars. Yesterday rent was zero dollars. You can take on additional contracts to earn extra cash. Hello there. I just wanted to remind you about contracts in the city. They're a great way to earn extra cash while we're while also helping our city. You get started out with one active contract. Sign an additional contract. Find the button in the bottom bar that looks like this. Right there. Okay, so here's our proof of contract. That's what we need to get the thousand. Then these contracts are either currently available or will become available in the future. Basic offices, Department of Planning and Development wants to ensure that the city commercial tax base is diversified and not overly dependent on any one sector succeeding or vulnerable should it collapse. To that end, they'd like to they'd like you to move in a diverse group of 16 small offices. So we get paid $500 up front and $1,000 on completion. Uh, Alright. We can have up to two contracts active at any time. Well, let's... This one is, Department of Housing would like to increase the stock of housing available in the city for newcomers to town. They think studio apartments are best for that. Construct 10 of them and they'll be grateful. $500 up front, $1,000 on completion. Let's do, let's do basic offices. All right. We just got $500. And we need to get four insurance agents, four accountants, four lawyers, and four creatives for offices. All right, so let's get started. Look at our workers just hanging out. We have some stairs to get to the first floor. See what do we got here? Construct business support service, build services. Uh, we don't need that yet. Construct what is this? Construct offices for building consultants. Oh, we can't do that yet. Allocate space for hotel and event related building items. Well, we need to get some office spaces. So allocate space to lease to office tenants. So, can we hit this? Build cost, free, valid placement, above ground floor, on ground floor. So we can put some right here. So here's an office space. And then with, with each office space, we need to click on it and set it to be advertised for rent so that you can find a tenant. 
All right, so we need to click on this and seek out tenants for the space. So we do need four insurance offices. We need accounting, legal, and creative. So let's go with insurance offices to start. And all paying 90. This one's 85. They expect copy services, so we might have to build a service. We'll need to put electricity in. So McCarthy Insurance, Lane Insurance, White Insurance, and Main Street Incorporated. Well, let's go with McCarthy Insurance. And there we go. Now they're going to start working on that. I believe we're going to need to put in electricity. So, oh, it's our, oh no, we're going to need to do this. You're going to need to put electricity like that. There you go, now you have electricity. I wonder if we should put phone in too. It didn't say we need phone there. So I'm assuming that'll be something that they will ask for. And services. Office supply, bottled water, janitorial, copy services. We're gonna need this, no, not present, no demand, but we're gonna need that. So, well, we'll wait until they come in and then they'll demand that. All right. What else can we build? Well, we need to build some more offices. I'm gonna wanna put a restaurant down here, so we're gonna leave. I mean, is there a way to build a lobby? Artwork. Here we go. Really a throwback, isn't it? Look at that. Hello, I'm ADA Systems 360. How can I help you today? Budget overview. All right, one-time expenses. Budget details. Tenant overview. So we got one office. Now it shows their rent. Tenant listing. Infrastructure. Services report. Oh, wow. Utilities. Population, visitors, art and aesthetics, prestige, population feedback. All right. What does this do? Oh, and then we got next generation hotel management also. So quite a few things we can look at. All right, what is this? If you're running low on cash, you can reach out to a lender to get a loan. We're good right now. Your population is the count of various workers and residents in your building. The visitors count shows how many visitors from the city are currently patronizing businesses in your tower. All right, so she's going, let, we can speed this up. And actually we're gonna wanna build, let's build some more office space because we do need 16 office spaces. Okay, and there's different sizes, but our prestige needs to be a little higher for each one. All right, so let's build another one right here. Boom. And the space, is, oh, okay, and then I need to right click. So you left click, put it down, then you need to right click to get out. Then you click on this. And let's go with an account, well, let's go with another insurance office right here. And we'll put in lane insurance right next to it. And we'll pull over the electricity. Oh. And now who is this? This is gonna be our insurance insurance agent, McCarthy. Yeah, I'm not sure how much I like the, I mean, it's a, it's a different look. I mean, it's not Sim Tower. Sim Tower was really great. And we'll see. I mean, the one thing that's different is the elevators. You don't get to see the elevators zipping up and down, which is so cool in Sim Tower. But they, they've added this electrical and all this, the pulling power and all that through. So that's going to be different. All right. So is she going to demand this? Well, she's happy right now. Modify the rent amount. Okay. So there's all these little things. Marilyn, let's go to work. All right. So lots of little information. She expects copy services, so we're gonna need to, let's just put that in now so she doesn't get too grumpy. And I think we could put it, probably put it downstairs, put it in the basement. Yeah, let's put that in the basement. That looks like something that would go downstairs.
Uh, hello, worker. It's already got electricity. I don't think it needs anything else. Makes one memo into many. Needs an electrical line. No rent. Four employees. Now, uh -huh. she's looking kind of grumpy here. Why is she just standing there looking at me? Clear me out. And then you can follow the workers around. That's cool. Okay. Alright, this guy's working here. Well, let's speed up the time. Well, why is he grumpy? What's that? I wish I could get some coffee. All right, so maybe we should make some services for our workers. Let's see. Janitorial services. No, we don't need that yet. Catering. Maybe put a restaurant in? Is that what they're gonna want? Well, we just got a bunch of workers for the copier area. It is night, it's evening. You can see everything's getting, changing colors back there, I think. These guys all look hey. grumpy. Well, he, he looks grumpy, uh -huh. but he's okay. Uh -huh. I wish I could get some coffee. There's nowhere to buy lunch. All right, let's build a restaurant. Small restaurant here. Put it right there. What should we have come in? We could have a donut shop, three donut shops, potential donut shops, Soma Donuts, Gloria's Donuts, Midway Donuts. Soma Donuts 95. Or we can get a food court. Boston Burger Shop, Joanne's Burritos, Cooley Road Hot Dog Grill. Let's see. Likes high traffic areas. Well, this is definitely going to be a high traffic area as we're going to build our building here. Wants to move in. Wants to move in. Oh, so these, the donut shops need a water pipe hookup. While the food court just needs electrical. So we'll do, let's do a, bu a burger shop. Oh, did I hit that? There we go. These guys all looking at me. Too bad there are no dinner spots here. Don't worry, I'm, I'm working on it. I'm gonna expand. We're gonna expand a little bit this way. I think we can. I think we should be able to. Let's see where. Add more floor pieces. Our maximum width is 70 tiles. We're 21 tiles right now, and we can go 60 floors up. So we can make a pretty big building. We'll just slowly add parts. Don't want to go too crazy. And actually, I'm thinking we should just start getting onto another floor. That way we can, you know, put down on this main floor, we can put more restaurants and stuff. So, let's go up here. And we got two floors. And let's build some more office space. Oh, we need to, I think we need to build some stairs. There we go. Ooh, okay, so here we can have a lobby. We're 
going to want that. But that's going to have to be in... Oh, we're going to have to expand our building. So we'll expand our building this way to build our lobby, I think. Okay, so we have all this area. Oh, we need electricity. Yeah, you're seeing me. I'm, this is the first time I've played this, so I'm still just catching on. We're going to need to build a closet here. A wiring closet. We'll put it right there. And now we'll get electricity to that floor. I think we could put a lobby in the middle, right? That would make... I think it would work. So let's pull our building out. Let's go four this way. Won't do the basement yet. We'll get to that when we need it. And let's go, let's put a lobby in. Two floor lobby. Build a two story glass lobby with gliding, or with gilding and glass. Uh, glass lobby with metal cross bracing. Glass lobby with imposing steel beams. Glass lobby, or just a lobby featuring chic tiled walls and elegantly polished stone blocks. I want to go with imposing steel beams. Let's do that. Well, why can't I do that? No, I can't. Okay, so this needs to be completed. That's why I can't build it yet. Alright. So I could go over here. Let's speed this up. Get them working through the night. Alright, daily budget summary. Yesterday's cash flow. Total revenues $500. Total expenses $1,300. But this is... We're just starting up. Show this info every day at midnight. Yeah, let's do that. That's good. Fine-tune rent rates. So we can... You know, we can say, hey, you guys got to pay us 200% of everything. Um, economy forecast. Acceptable but declining. Tenants may become more upset with high rents. Okay. Got an ADA report. Okay. Yeah, see, these are all one-time, most of our money, and then one-time revenue. Yeah, right here. Here's the important one. And right now we're losing money, more expenses, daily expenses than revenues. But once we get this next floor built, we'll get some more office spaces. Yeah, we're losing 70 a day, is what it's saying there. Can I just, yeah, I still can't build it. I don't have empty. Why don't you go over here? It must go in order of when you lay it. All right. Can I hire more workers? Transit, storage, trash. Probably want to put trash somewhere. Eventually. Okay, so now let's slow this down. Morning is coming. So we got a nice empty building here. And let's put a lobby. Let's see if we get this lobby in with the imposing steel. There we go. Let's put it right here. I wonder if we can move that later on, what happens. We'll, we'll see. Alright, sometimes require a trash bin on their floor. Sometimes require a recycling bin. Then we have collection rooms. This is going to be located in the basement. And the recycling bins also. Alright. Let's, let's, since we have another floor, let's build... What is this person saying? Uh -huh. She's grumpy. There are no breakfast places here. Ay, ay, ay. Okay, okay. Let's see. Are there any... Can I build any breakfast places? Is the question. This is the real question. 
All right, let's build another restaurant. Let's have, let's have this first floor be restaurants, a little bit more restaurants. Oh, space, sorry, there we go. Food court, donut shops. Well, let's get this. Now we're gonna need some water. So let's see, how do we do that? And also let's build, let's get, let's get her building another office space. We'll put it up on the second floor. Oh, now we can get legal offices. All right. Ooh, they pay a lot more. But she expects courier services also. So we're gonna need to add that. Let's do it. All right, let's check our connections. Get her some electricity. Get some electricity over here. And then we're gonna need water. So there's water there. Lay down water pipes horizontally. And then we need plumbing closets. So we're gonna need, yeah. Actually, I should have put, should we put these all closer together? I don't know. And we're gonna need to expand our building in the basement. See here we got this nice open area, but we already built. So let's put our plumbing closet here. Okay, so this is all gonna go here. water, gas, and your, you know, um, air conditioning, heating, all that. You got your water. So it's really, you're going to really want to plan, like, where are you going to put your stuff? You know, obviously your offices that only need electricity, you're going to put in, you know, your TV and phone. You're going to want that on one floor, because then you don't need to pull water to all that. Another day, another dollar. I do like these uh, copy workers. <laughs> Too bad there are no dinner spots here. I, I'm trying, okay. What does this say? Not enough water meters in the building. Okay. So we need to add some water meters. That's 10 water connections to your building. That's 50, that's 150. So we're gonna want just this one. Where do I put that? I think I can put that right there. Well, let's check the electricity. Yeah, they're gonna need a transformer. Oh, that's a transformer right there. Uh, I don't need that. This, I need to put, uh, where, where is that? I need to put my, I need that right there. There we go. Okay, now we're in business. Much better, cool. So my donuts. Uh, she's gonna need phone too. But that's going to be easy because we already have on the same line. We just need to pull phone lines over here. Phone switchboards. But we're going to need a phone switchboard, so we'll stick that right there. And we're in business for the phone. All right. We are chugging along. This is definitely, definitely a little bit more involved than Sim Tower with all your utilities that we need to have going on. And obviously, the more I play this, the more I'll have a better idea of what to do, where to put things, best place to put things. All right, let's, look at these grumpy people. They all look grumpy to me, they're all just, well, I, I'm sorry, I can't, I can't build all the restaurants you want. I don't have, I'm not at that point yet. Let's put another, 
add a little bit more room here and put in another restaurant. Let's get the restaurants going. Um, can you build that first before you... Alright, fine. She's gonna get... She's gonna get lunch or something. And we will request another office up here. And let's go with city tax services. They want to move in. And she expects courier services, so we're going to need that eventually. See if we can build any different restaurants. Not yet. Now, I don't think this caught. Does this cost me anything per month just to have that space there? I don't think so. So we just leave that for now. We'll see if we can't get more options for restaurants. I say we just load everything up with office space right now. So we'll get another legal office. Read at Cantu Limited. Let's just look at accounting office here. City tax services. I th thought we already did that one. M. Thornton Law Office. And over here, we'll do one more. We'll get J. Cox LLC in here. And that will take care of our law offices, I think. Actually, it might put us over the top for law offices. Should have made, because I think one, well, she's already a lawyer, yeah? Something with law. And we'll extend the water closet. Now does this... Okay, that's gonna... This is gonna cost us money every day, so we won't put that there yet. We'll leave that open though, this spot, because we'll just have it run right through there. We'll have the electricity run here. And I made a mistake, because this should be stairs. So let's stop him from building that. Yeah, so that's gonna cost me some money, but... I'm gonna to wanna to put stairs there, so let's put the stairs in. Okay. Why can't I? Okay, well, a little mistake there. We'll move that office over here. What does this need? Electricity. Our electricity all the way over here and this way okay and she just needs electricity there this place is gonna need electrical <laughs> and I broke the lease but they're still building it so Hmm. All right. Well, let's speed it up. Hey. Hard at work. Give us some more office spaces. And let's put in one more office space right here. As an accountant, I'll do Colombo tax offices. Oh, 
All right, total expenses 2788. We made 270 in our rent, but it will go up as you can see right there. We're going to we're almost close to meeting this goal. some more stairs to nowhere. And I sort of want to extend our building, so we'll go this way. We'll just expand it so we have more room for offices. Everybody's hard at work. We have three lawyers, two accountants, two insurance agents. Looks like they would need a phone line. We'll see. Where is my office? Now here, if I want more, I can place an ad, but I think we have four legal offices. We'll see. We still need to we'll get city tax services in here. And then we'll build another office right here. Get one more. Go with our insurance office. Main Street wants to get in here. Make sure all of our offices are connected with electricity. This is your prestige level. Higher prestige attracts high-end tenants and opens up growth opportunities. The current level of prestige comes from having 15 population, more at 20 population. So I think we'll get a plus one when we get to 20. We get more from artwork and happy atten happy tenants, um, from completing special contracts, and from move-outs and evictions. Or we lose prestige from move-outs and evictions. All right, let's see if we have anything new for... Okay, so prestige, we need to go there. So hopefully get one prestige soon. Offices are happy. So this is a uh, accounting mm -hmm. law office. That's probably with law too. Accounting again, law, uh -huh. Uh -huh. insurance, and insurance, and then we'll have an insurance and law. So we'll be set on the law for now. Someone's coming downstairs to eat. They are happy. We like being a hot. Being in a high traffic area, we're gaining more regular customers. Okay, so the donut shop serves breakfast, that's good. This serves lunch. And then we need a dinner spot. So I don't think the donuts are gonna do that. So a cafe, we're gonna need a cafe. Eventually. Is it? Copy center, they're happy. Mm -hmm. There are no dinner spots. Yep, I know. Uh -huh. There are no dinner spots, yep. Mm -hmm. Okay. What else can we build? We can build apartments. Tiny studio apartment. Oh, what's going on here? Not enough electrical transformers in the building. So we're going to need to, I think, upgrade this. Now, can we... Is there a way to do that? Well, let me see. Is this one bigger? Oh, okay. This one's going to be bigger, so... 
Now what we can do is we can just get rid of that. And now our placement for things is a little little silly again. But we could put like a the phone one, we can make three. We'll have the four. Kind of boxing ourselves in here. So let's go. Ooh, that's 1500 a day. So we'll just upgrade to this. And we'll just put that right there. Alright, now they should be fine. Yep. A little grumpy. Um, let's, what's wrong? I wish I could get some coffee. I know, I do too. But we don't have any coffee shops. Let's build another floor. Get a few more offices in here. And we're gonna need to get to building some elevators soon. And so I might wanna just keep expanding that way at first. Ooh, we can build some. What's that? Add floor pieces that extend beyond the supporting floor below. This kind of floor can extend from the side of the building up to four tiles to the left or right. But it won't let me. Maybe I have to start there and then go like that. I don't want to do that right now. Alright, and let's build some... We'll fill this up with offices. Get our electrical through there. Oh, I should. Have to rent these out first, then they'll start building. Let's just get all these insurance guys in here. There we go. And put in our electrical so that they're happy once they get here. Congratulations, you've completed the contract proof of concept. The reward of payment, $500, has been, has been wired to your account. If you feel up to it, more lucrative contracts may be available under the contracts menu. So, wow, we spent a lot of money, but again, we're just putting a lot of money in, getting the base set up, I think. Well, let's look here. Oh, yeah. We're gonna need to figure this out, how to get this number more than that number, because these are the dailies, and the daily just jumped a lot. And you know what that might be? That might be the electrical, and so what I should do I'll just get rid of this one, it should be fine. Because this one costs 250. This one's. So I'm getting a thousand through here. Yeah. It's getting a little tight, money wise. Anyone interested? Ooh, another legal office. Lorraine Cooley Law Office. Move on in, I could use all the money. Yeah, once we get the population, I think that will bump us to one prestige. Then we'll be able to build creative offices, some more restaurants. View our existing contracts. What else can we do? More people needed. The city wants more people in this part of town. Increase your building population to 50. 500 up front, 1500 on completion. Incremental income. The city's Department of Planning and Development is looking for a model of sustainable growth for rental property. Have daily rent revenues of 3000 or more and they'll reward you for being a beacon of financial prudence. Now this one's going to grant us buzz. Studio apartments. Saw that one. A bit of variety. The city recently took a survey of commuters, and a major gripe seems to be a lack of diversity in food offerings. Can you help out by adding a place that serves breakfast, a place that serves lunch, and a place that serves coffee? Well, 
let's sign this contract. This one we could we should be able to. Oh, I already completed it. So there we go. That's nice. Studio apartments. Let's do. Let's do this one. Because I think we can get to the $3,000 before we can get to the more people needed. Alright, you just reached a rating of 1 star prestige. This is a great step towards fame and glory. If you look down at your build menu, some new decorating options unlocked because of your higher prestige. More options will unlock later as you reach even higher levels of prestige. Alright, so now we should be able to do... We got some cafes we can put in here. Serves coffee and lunch. Serves coffee and lunch. Still no dinner, unfortunately. And does this have water yet? Let's make sure we get the water pulled over there. There you go. And now we can put some creative offices. Draper Design, T.I. Gallo Talent Services, University Talent, and Gail W. Welsh Talent Services. Let's go with Draper Design. They're going to need a phone line, which is not too hard. And we're going to need courier services and office supplies store. So it's going to start getting a little hairy in that department. Let's start building some more. I don't know if we want to put them in the basement or on the first floor. Yeah, so here we're set with insurance agents and lawyers. We need one more accountant. Let's get the phone pulled over here. And the electricity. And then we need some services, right? So I think, where was that? There you go, services. Build amenities to make your tower dwellers happier. Ooh, vending machines, a shoe shine station. All right. Apartment dwellers, we don't need that yet. We need this. So, office supply services. Where do I want to put this? Well, let's put that in the basement. We're going to need some more basement space here. So... Do -do -do. More space up here. Some more offices. See, this won't give us money, though. And they need to be on the same floor. Well, our building's getting a little... Getting quite, uh... Well, we're getting buzz. So that's helping us there. Buzz is generated by popular retail stores, restaurants, and by some offices. Once you reach 50 buzz, you will be able to spend it on a media campaign. Alright, let's slow this down. We want to build some services here. Nope, not this one. Services, we want office supplies. There is, There will be demand. And we want to build um, courier services. Probably also want to put some staircases on this side eventually. Or just put the elevator there.
We had zero customers yesterday. We have two regulars who like us. How about the donut shop? We had four customers yesterday. Oh, what do they need? We did not turn a profit yesterday. There are too few customers or too much competition. Okay, that's even... Wow. Now they made money. Oh no. We did not turn a profit. There are too few customers and too much competition. So our restaurants, we've got too many restaurants, actually. <laughs> so I need to be careful about that. What are my workers doing here? Why aren't we finishing? There must be a way to hire more workers. No. And we can add some, what can we add? Lobby art. <laughs> okay, well that's just a little bit too much for me yet. As we get some more money. Okay, this is gonna be our water, so we don't have to worry yet. Right, let's put our another office right here. Now, how much do we need to get that two prestige? Let's build another creative office. Gale W Welsh Talent Services. They need a phone line also. our electrical lines over here and our phone all right We are spending money pretty quickly, but I think it will pay off if we just have all these tenants in here paying us rent. And hopefully that will offset the daily costs. Or we might just completely fail, need to get more money. Let's see. Yeah, we can get $5,000. Let's get another creative office. See, now they expect bottled water, so we're going to need to put bottled water somewhere. This one expects bottled water as well. And we will build one more office and we will... Well, we'll need one more accountant. We have more insurance agents than we need for this goal. So we will actually have to put out an ad, maybe. need bottle service because these three offices are going to expect that. So we will put the bottled service the bottle service down here. phone up there oh there we go look at that we actually made a profit yesterday so now we're I'm feeling good now yeah look 245 a day good 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 all right let's see what is going on here what did she say I missed what she said my advisor said something and I missed it this tenant is considering moving out we can't function without electricity or a phone don't worry it's coming it's coming it's coming there you go. 
And your phone. There you go. Hey, 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 calm down, calm down. You don't need to move out. Everything's good. Wow. So quick. Alright, I need another service. Bottled water. Ooh, we need one more. So let's expand just a little bit more. Oh, look at that. We are up to 33. So actually, we could have taken that other uh, contract. Alright, we need a bottle service. All right. Well, I think this is a good spot to stop. I think it's been three days. We're on day three already. I'm not sure if there's anywhere where it tells us that. Um, next time I'll go over these, these overlays. If you like this video, give it a like. Um, share it with your friends. Share it with anyone who would be interested in it. Leave a comment. I love ha reading people's comments. Um, subscribe to the channel for more gameplay videos, American Truck Simulator, Euro Truck Simulator, iRacing. Until next time, I'm Martin Wenzel. Take care. Goodbye.